Hi YouTube, hope everybody is having a good night. Um, I wanted to do this unbagging of a purse, a uh, vintage slash borderline antique purse I got off the eBay market. Um, this is from my personal collection. So this is the first time that I am seeing it in person as well as you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. And let's see, hopefully everything's intact and nothing's um, broken or missing. The, the pictures looked really good. <clears throat> they packaged this pretty good. Oh wow, look at this. This is perfect. This is exact, I didn't want it too big. I mean, I would have been happy either way, but uh, the pictures, um, it, it, I knew the length was over eight inches, but as far as like the width, they didn't put that in. So I was hoping it wouldn't be too um, wide. So this is actually a lot older than I was anticipating. This is really, really nice. Look at how cute the clasps has the blue eye out, um, like the outlet style stones. And then the bottom has all the little accessories intact at the bottom. A lot of these older pieces, they don't, they won't have all those pe all those little um, accessories at the bottom still intact because they're so old. But this is a really, really nice piece. I got this for, it was fourteen ninety nine, and I'm surprised um, nobody didn't buy this. <laughs> the inside looks very very good i thought this was possibly a whitening and davis purse it still very much so could be there are no tags though and i'm trying to find markings so um this I, i'm not sure if this is a whitening and davis there's no tags but that still doesn't mean that this isn't um before I opened the package up, I was thinking that it was going to be possibly, like, I knew it was going to be pre-1950s. You know, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be, like, 1940s, maybe 1930s, but no, I think this is a lot older, like 1910 to 1920. The only reason I say that is because of the frame, the cathedral frame. And um, this style where it's straight down, you know, like a flapper bag, kind of slender, that was really popular in 1910, 1920s. This is really, really pretty. I'm, I'm ecstatic. The, the video kind of makes it look like it's, it has like a silver tone to it, but it's, it's gold. I'm trying to see if I could adjust the lighting really quickly. No. So I just wanted to share that with you folks. I think this is a really, really nice piece. I'm I'm happy about it. I mean, this was a very good deal. And it works. Everything's in working condition. Usually when they start off that cheap, it's because something's wrong. You could see the inside. It, this wasn't, this purse wasn't really used. The inside, of the, the condition is better than the outside. And the outside will tend to wear, you know, just being exposed. <clears throat> but since the inside looks newer than the outside, I could tell, like, this wasn't even really used at all. <clears throat> or maybe it was used for a night or two. There's one, okay, I thought maybe there was a hinge, a loop missing right there, but there's not. 
This is really pretty. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit gently. Well, I just wanted to share that with you folks. Um, this is a really, really nice piece. I love it. It's really special. And I'm just lucky that I got it for such a great price because I know they're valued way more. These are valued like in the $100 range. But sometimes you come across a really good deal on eBay. Nobody else puts the offer into when it's up for auction. And I was watching it, so I got it. All right, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I will be coming out with the, another video this weekend showing my latest thrift store finds. And this is Soho California Vintage signing off. Thank you.